Hey guys, uh, I'm going to do a quick video here for any of you guys that have an aggressive veiled chameleon. Now, this is Petrie. Um, if you've seen my videos, uh, you know he's uh, my male veiled chameleon. Um, to start off the video, different chameleons act uh, differently according to where you get them from. I got Petrie from a breeder when he was about 2 inches long. So he was very, very young when I got him. Um, so he's used to humans being around and being handled and everything. So he's pretty calm. And he gets aggressive every now and then. You know, he's got his moody days. But uh, most of the time, he's really, really chill. Every now and then, you know, he'll hiss when I try to pick him up because he's grumpy or something. But that's just a veiled chameleon for you. You know, you're never going to get him to be, you know, the perfect pet where they like to be picked up and stuff. Chameleons really don't like... Uh, being picked up, you know, they can get used to it, but they'll never really like it. So, what you gotta do here, when you first get your chameleon, you know, just place him in his cage and leave him alone for a few days, let him get used to his whole new uh, setup and environment and stuff and his surroundings. Once a week has gone by or so, uh, get him used to the screen door being open. Uh, I never really close his screen door, um, just because I feel it stresses uh, him out when, well, it stresses your chameleon out when you come up to the screen cage, open the door, and go to touch him. He'd feel like, you know, you're going to harm him or, you know, do something to him, and he'll get really stressed out every time you come up to the cage and open the door. So, just to make him a little more uh, calm and make him feel like he can trust me. I always leave the screen cage open unless it's night or I'm gone for a few hours. If I'm at home in my room or in the living room or you know just doing stuff around the house the cage door is always open. Uh, another thing you want to do is you want to get your chameleon used to your hand and uh, used to you being around him. You want to talk to him and let him know that you're uh, going to try to interact with him. Don't just come up to him out of nowhere, all quiet, and try to touch him. That'll spook him. And, you know, he won't, he won't like that. So what you got to do is when you approach your chameleon, you know, let him hear your voice. Let him see you. Move your fingers around in his face. You know, let him know that your hand's right there. And if you go to touch him and he hisses or tries to bite you, don't jerk away and, you know, walk off and leave him alone. That'll encourage bad behavior, and every time you go to pet him, he's going to keep on doing that because he sees that when he does that, you go away and leave him alone. When he does that, you know, move your hand back a little bit to where he can't hurt you, but leave your hand there and uh, give him a few seconds, and he'll get used to your hand being there. And uh, just work on that, and, you know, once you get to the point where he doesn't try to bite or anything, you know, just slowly work your way towards him, and, you know, give him a little rub on the chin. Or, you know, on the ribs or something. And, uh, you know, he'll hiss and, you know, he'll try to get away. But eventually, he'll get to the point where he'll just sit there and let you, you know, pet him. Now, once you get the petting and, you know, him getting used to your hand, um, you got to work on uh, picking him up. When you go to pick up your chameleon, you don't want to reach over like this and pick him up and try to pull him off the branch. That's the worst thing you can do. Um, that'll stress him out and that'll scare the crap out of him. He'll feel like you're gonna try and you know hurt him or you know it's like a bird you know picking him up and like taking him away or something like that you know. So what you wanna do is when you when he gets used to your hand you know uh, put your hand in front of him when he's walking and you know you gotta be patient. You gotta wait for him to make a move or if not, you know, just pick up his hand one by one and let him crawl into your hand. And as he crawls, move your hand the way he is moving. So you can do this. Now, most of the time when I try to do it with one hand and he doesn't want to be picked up, he'll curl his tail around a branch and uh, hold on with his tail. Now, when your chameleon does that, you don't want to pull or you don't want to be aggressive and yank his tail off that branch. Um, you know, that'll scare him, that'll give him a bad experience, and he'll hate it every time you try and go pick him up. What you want to do is you want to go to his tail and uh, try to untangle it from the branch. Um, 
don't pull on it, don't yank on it or anything like that. You go up to the tail and uh, just uncurl it and, you know, be as gentle as possible and uh, don't make them feel like you're going to hurt them or anything like that. Um, once he's curled around your finger or he's off the branch, you know, uh, just pull him out slowly. And when you hold him, <coughs> you don't want to hold him for too long, um, a minute or two at a time at first. And, you know, once he starts trusting you and once he sees that you're not going to hurt him, uh, you know, you pick him up for, you know, a few minutes longer, five, ten minutes. And uh, you got to keep on working. Uh, you can't, you know, just do that for a day or two and then not interact with him for a week and then try it again and uh, expect him to be uh, nice and less aggressive. Um, when you're trying to get him... Uh, you know, to calm down and be less aggressive, you got to work with him for a few months. You can't just do it for a week and then expect him to be perfect. Uh, you got to do it for a few weeks, a few months, and, you know, pick him up at least once a day and, you know, interact with him as much as you can to get him used to you and get him used to being around humans. Sometimes it'll take a few weeks. Sometimes it'll take a few months. It just depends on your chameleon. <laughs> but... Like I said, you just want to interact with him as much as possible, get him used to you as much as possible, and you'll get to the point where you can pet him whenever you want. Anyone can come in and pet him and pick him up and not worry about getting uh, bit or uh, him falling uh, like this. Hold on, let me help him out here. He's tired, so he's a little clumsy right now. Now, uh, you will see your chameleon fall every now and then from his... Uh, set up but you know that's normal you know they trip too but like I was saying you just wanna interact with him as much as possible and uh, try not to let too many days go by without picking him up or uh, trying to pet him or hand feeding him um, hand feeding him is one of the best ways to gain uh, your chameleon's trust you know feed him a couple uh, wax worms you know something you know you don't give him as often or mealworms or something like that <coughs> and he'll see that your hand is his friend and that you're his friend and you're not gonna hurt him so if you're having you know a hard time gaining his trust just by uh, putting your hand in front of his face and leaving it there you know try hand feeding him you know don't feed him for like a day or two and uh, next time you offer him food make it out of your hand and he'll eat that and uh, you know he'll be like okay um, he's not gonna hurt me and the hand brings food so uh, he'll get used to your hand a little faster that way but that's pretty much it for this video guys um, if you want me to go into details <coughs> on how to hand feed or any of the subjects I just mentioned uh, you know just leave a comment and I'll make a more detailed video but uh, that's pretty much it for this video guys uh, I hope it helps a little bit and uh, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you guys